Welcome to New Techno News Channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. The M1 Abrams is a third-generation American main battle tank designed by Chrysler Defense, now General Dynamics Land Systems, and named for General Creighton Abrams. Conceived for modern armored ground warfare and now one of the heaviest tanks in service at nearly 68 short tons, almost 62 metric tons, it introduced several innovative features, including a multi-fuel turbine engine, sophisticated Chobham composite armor, a computer fire control system, separate ammunition storage in a blowout compartment, and NBC protection for crew safety. Initial models of the M1 were armed with a licensed produced 105mm Royal Ordnance L7 gun, while later variants feature a licensed Rheinmetall 120mm L44. The M1 Abrams was developed from the failure of the MBT-70 project to replace the obsolescent M60 tank. There are three main operational Abrams versions, the M1, M1A1, and M1A2, with each new iteration seeing improvements in armament, protection, and electronics. Extensive improvements have been implemented to the latest formerly designated M1A2 System Enhancement Package Version 3 or SCPV3 and M1A2 SCPV4, respectively versions such as improved composite armor, better optics, digital systems and ammunition. The Abrams was due to be replaced by the future combat systems XM1202 but due to its cancellation, the US military has opted to continue maintaining and operating the M1 series for the foreseeable future by upgrading with improved optics, armor and firepower. The M1 Abrams entered service in 1980 and currently serves as the main battle tank of the United States Army and formerly the Marine Corps. The export version is used by the armies of Egypt, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Australia, and Iraq. The Abrams was first used in combat in the Persian Gulf War and has seen combat in both the war in Afghanistan and Iraq War under U.S. service, while Iraqi Abrams tanks have seen action in the war against ISIL and have seen use by Saudi Arabia during the Yemeni Civil War. Through the 1960s the U.S. Army and West German Army had collaborated on a single design that would replace both the M60 tank and the Leopard one. The overall goal was to have a single new design with improved firepower to handle new Soviet tanks like the T-62, while providing improved protection against the T-62's new 115mm smoothbore gun and especially high explosive anti-tank, heat, rounds. The resulting design, the MBT-70, incorporated new technologies across the board. The hydropneumatic suspension provided excellent cross-country ride quality and also allowed the entire tank to be raised or lowered by the driver, with the lowest position placing the top of the tank only 6 feet meters, off the ground. New 1,500 horsepower class engines powered the designs which could both reach 43 miles per hour, 69 kilometers per hour. Two new guns were introduced, a US 152mm design whose primary long-range weapon was the Shalala missile, while the Germans introduced a new 120mm smoothbore design. As a result of the problems with the MBT-70, the U.S. Army introduced the XM-803, using some technologies from the MBT-70 but removing some of the more troublesome features. This succeeded only in producing an expensive system with capabilities similar to the M-60. Congress cancelled the XM-803 in December 1971 but permitted the Army to reallocate $20 million remaining funds to develop a new main battle tank. M1A2 Abrams is armed with the M256 120mm smoothbore gun, originally developed by Rheinmetall and manufactured under license in USA. This gun is loaded manually. Such gun loading system is more reliable than autoloaders used on some other tanks. The M1A2 has an improved fire control system in its components. Range of effective fire in excess of 4 km. The M1A2 has a target acquisition system with hunter-killer capability. Many tanks produced in the early 90s lacked this capability. 
Secondary armament consists of coaxial 7.62 mm machine gun, another 7.62 mm machine gun mounted over the gunner's hatch and 12.7 mm machine gun mounted over commander's hatch. Vehicle has a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. The M1A2 Abrams is powered by Avco Lycoming, now Honeywell, AGT1500 gas turbine engine, developing 1,500 horsepower. Essentially it is a modified helicopter engine, adapted for use on tanks. It is a multi-fuel engine, which can run on any grade of petrol, diesel, aviation fuel or kerosene. This engine has impressive performance and is compact for its power output. So even though the Abrams tank is heavy and bulky, it is surprisingly agile. It is faster than many other tanks and has superior cross-country performance. Also the engine is remarkably quiet. Due to this feature the Abrams is even nicknamed the Whispering Death. Its gas turbine engine has servicing intervals significantly longer than those of diesel engines, however is troublesome to maintain and has very high fuel consumption comparing with diesels. Engine can be replaced in field conditions within 30 minutes.